Level M Diecast here, everybody. Glad you can join us today. Taking a look at some green light. Uh, wrapping up some stuff here. This is Series 25 of Hitch and Toe. Uh, this is a uh, pretty nice set. Obviously, we we are a little bit biased here at Level M. We do like Mopar stuff. Uh, good thing about this release is there is a brand new trailer. This is the one you're looking at. This is the can Tandem Car Hauler trailer. So that's a brand new trailer. So we'll take a look at that. Comes with the 2020 Ram 2500 uh, long bed. So we'll take a look at that guy. Next up, we're going to take a look at. There you go. There is some square body love. Of course, there is. There is the 82 GMC 2500 Sierra Grande West Side. And then a second version of that nice new trailer. Uh, this one is in a. Deco uh, looks like the busted knuckle garage. So uh, green light's been doing that uh, You know license for a while. So we'll take a look at that. Um, this one has a little bit different color for the uh, Tire rack on there. It does have a tire rack <clears throat> uh, Next one up this is the Nissan uh, Patrol 1972 in solid green with the quarter ton cargo trailer uh, we've only seen that once before. Came in a previous hitch and toe uh, with the Jeep. <clears throat> so kind of military style. Looking pretty good. Uh, and then the last one we're going to take a look at. 1988 GMC S15 Sierra and the canoe and kayak trailer. Uh, this is the third version of that trailer. It was new uh, in, I believe, Series 23 is where it debuted. Uh, and then it was also in Series 24, also now in Series 25. Uh, a little bit different for this one. Obviously, the canoe and the kayak has always changed colors. Uh, but this one does have now a black wheel instead of a white wheel. So a little bit of a change. So um, let's, uh, let's chop them open and take a look. All right, everybody. We're going to kick this off with our Nissan Patrol with the quarter-ton cargo trailer. I think these will actually fit on there in conjunction so, one thing I did uh, talk about when I did the uh, hitched homes the other day is the uh, the trailer jack stands, the ones you got to screw in, these ones here. Um, they did go back to metal with those. Um, they were doing plastic for a little bit, uh, but they are now back to metal, so it's a very good sign. Plastic is just, plastic doesn't work with that, that small of amount of material. Um, even with them being metal, uh, they tend to uh, break if you're a little bit, little bit rough with them. Uh, this one looks pretty good though. It does have matching wheels for the trailer, which is nice. Match the Nissan Patrol. Um, this is the what I what I call the the budget one of the mix. Uh, you know, not really any moving features, no extra accessories, no extra parts. Uh, the trailer is just just the trailer by itself. Doesn't dump, doesn't do anything. Just sits there. Uh, the Nissan Patrol is pretty nice though. It does have a opening top, uh, just like they normally do. Just kind of pop them off the top. There we go. Very, very tight. There we go. Definitely not as smooth as I was hoping that would happen, but that's all good. Um, <clears throat> I don't think that this is a bad addition. Um, usually the, the budget one's kind of rudimentary, not that great. Uh, but I really like this one. I think this goes good. And, of course, just with the matching trailer, I think this is... Uh, definitely one of the better ones of the uh, set, in my opinion. Take a look at our base Dietz. 400 on the dot. So, not too bad. The trailer hitch is a little crooked. It's pretty common. Gotta love that green light uh, quality. Looks like the front bumper might be a little bit crooked, too. Uh, but at least they got that uh, <clears throat> paint on there for the uh, exhaust. So, that's, that's something. That's something. We'll take our roof off, put this guy back on there, and take the trailer. Uh, the trailer is solid metal, which is pretty nice. Did want to showcase that, <clears throat> show that out there. All right, next up, this is the GMC Sonoma with the uh, kayak and canoe trailer. Uh, like I mentioned, this trailer has pretty much been the same its first two releases, just the canoe and kayak have changed, although this one they did change it to uh, a black wheel, just uh, make it a little bit different. Uh, with sporting a white wheel. Uh, even the uh, spare tire is matched in black, looking pretty good. Uh, good quality details on the canoe and the kayak. We'll take a look at those in just a minute. But 
Uh, just letting it roll around. The hood does not open on the GMC. Uh, it's just simply there for uh, trim purposes for whichever trim that they are uh, making. Uh, it is the same casting that they share with the S10. So however they want to trim it up. Uh, it's it's a good combination though. This one, you know, this is definitely one of the more expensive ones. Uh, and the trailer is, you know, all, obviously multiple pieces. You got your canoe, you got your kayak. Uh, and then that black uh, tonneau cover in the trailer is also removable as well. That does come out. Uh, the Sonoma itself uh, looks pretty good. There is an etched number in there, 5765. So uh, very, very high number on this one. Uh, trailer hitch again, just a little off, not, not horrifically bad, but uh, the rest of it looks pretty good. S15 it shows. Fighting for uh, real estate here. So just always like to showcase those nice prints on there. Uh, the kayak, I think is a little bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, so there is your kayak, a uh, little bit of print in there, nothing, nothing fancy, kind of what they do. Other uh, than it's just one solid color. <clears throat> and then your canoe, uh, it's all one solid piece of plastic, but they do have some white print on there on the tops and stuff. And then of course around the edges to the bottom of it. So a little bit of, a little bit of cool detail. Um, and then like I mentioned with the trailer, the black tonneau cover, that does come off. So in case you, in case you want to take it off, you per, you definitely can. Other than that, it's just uh, just racking de details on there and stuff like that. Uh, they do not do numbers or anything for the trailers, just for the truck itself. So we'll move this guy off to the side. All right, <clears throat> moving on to, we're going to do this one in two parts because uh, this is the one with the new trailer and it's, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, but we're going to start this off. This is the uh, GMC Sierra. Uh, this one looks, you know, square body, it's, you know, it's pretty average. Uh, by this time, Auto World, Green Light, you know, everybody else has been just, you know, M2 have been just beating these to the ground. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, you know, it's it's a perfectly good version. Uh, obviously, good getting it in Bust Knuckle Garage. You know, something different. A little bit of a new flavor. Uh, it does have uh, white wheels on there, which is pretty nice detail. I do like the white wheels, which is pretty nice. Uh, Taking a look at the base Deets 6130. So, getting some extremely high numbers outside that uh, Nissan Patrol. So, that's Okay. This one, the trailer hitch looks pretty good. So pretty happy about that. Now, this is the new Tandem Car Haul trailer. And you're probably saying, Level M, uh, where is the other ramp? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, here's part of that one ramp. And here is the other part of that ramp. Now, when we get to the Mopar one, it was a little bit better than this one. Um, so I... I, I I broke that ramp uh, trying to get it into the trailer that did not come broken uh, out of the package. Um, I broke it myself. However, the plastic uh, that you pop in there for the ramp is extremely thick. And you have to work the trailer ramp back and forth and back and forth and back and forth uh, to wedge it in there. Once you wedge it in there, um, it's not as bad uh, to move it around because you've kind of forced the plastic. Uh, these ramps are a little bit different than the ones we've been normally seeing. Uh, so they have a little bit of an edge to them. So you got to be super, super careful with these when you want to move them around. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't even want to pull that one down because I'm probably going to break it. Uh, you can see just how thin the plastic is in there. Um, and it's just it just doesn't fit all that well. But the ramp itself um, has a bit of an angle to it. See that? So that when it sits there, it kind of levels it out just a little bit. Kind of difficult to see. I'm trying to show that to you. Um, but that's unfortunately part of it. Um, the the quality of green light um, suffers immensely uh, when it comes to plastic molded parts. Um, usually, if there's a problem with them, they, it's because they don't fit. They weren't molded correctly. Not because they weren't designed right, but they don't fit. Now, there's a bunch of other problems with this trailer. Um, one of the issues is, is that if you guys saw me unbox these from when I originally bought them, uh, in the package, obviously, we've just cut them open today, but you could see in the package that they were already bent. Uh, the trailer itself was kind of a upside down U, so the entire tongue section was actually kind of bent down. I've been able to slowly work that up to where it's pretty much flat straight, but uh, this trailer is very thin. The whole trailer is very, 
very thin. As a matter of fact, um, you could easily flex the whole thing. Um, it, it bends a lot, uh, a lot, a lot. So you can see it's, it's, it's not a good design. It's not a good design at all. Uh, it's actually one of the worst trailers they probably ever made, in my opinion. Um, that tire rack on the top is plastic, although the rest of the trailer is metal. Um, it is one solid piece of metal, uh, including the fenders. And then, of course, you have the two axles that run underneath it. Um, one cool thing about the trailer, at least on the surface, is that it's completely balanced. So this is not held in by the or held up by the trailer hitch. The trailer is completely balanced. So it sits perfectly on those two axles. This is the problem, though. So because it sits on those two axles perfectly balanced with no problems, get our broken ramp out of here, um, it does not um, actually sit on the truck. So if you want to tow it, um, it, does not, it does not sit on the ball hitch. It sits over the ball hitch. So even if you put weight on there, it's still going to be balanced. You'd have to make sure that all the weight is forced face to the front, which this trailer is not very big. So there is a little bit of a size comparison, I guess. Uh, just something I have sitting in the studio. Uh, that charger is not a very big casting. Most all the castings that you would probably put on this trailer from Greenlight uh, are probably not going to fit on it. It is a very small trailer. Um, it should have been much, much longer. Um, and they should have put more of the weight in the front of it so that the tongue would go down a little bit. But they had to do that, I, I would suspect, to try to make sure that both axles rolled. Although, frankly, it doesn't really matter. It, it just doesn't really matter. Now, if you can get something that fits on the trailer, um, this might be a good display. Uh, we'll put the charger on the next one just because it might be a better fit. Uh, but uh, I'm telling you right now, these trailers are absolute garbage. Uh, one cool, cool thing about them, though, is they do have the lensed taillights on them on the fenders, which is pretty nice. Um, so that's a pretty cool detail. But other than that, um, these uh, trailers are just trash. They're absolutely trash. All right, moving on to the next one. This one is definitely not going to fit on there at one time because it's the biggest one. Uh, this is the Ram 2500 in old school Mopar Deco. This one, obviously a little bit biased here. We like this a lot. Looks pretty good. Um, I will be the first to admit um, the rid, the new rollout for the Rams from Greenlight has been an absolute disaster in my opinion. Um, here at Level M, pretty much every single one we've received has had some type of quality error with it, whether the, it be the mirrors or a fitment of parts or bent axles or paint problems or something. Um, every single one of the Rams has got something wrong with it. Some of them more significant than others. Um, but you can see on this one, the rear window is not set in there. So the window pops out um, and you cannot set it back in there. Um, it is designed to be set in there from the casting being apart. So there's nothing we can do about that, which is unfortunate. Um, the other thing too is one of the, uh, um, um, you can see here, the uh, misalignment on the uh, step board. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word, the running boards. There we go. Uh, is misaligned, so that's unfortunate as well. Um, taking a look at it from just front on, the mirrors are not too bad. The passenger one is still a little bit bum, uh, but the driver's side one looks pretty good. Taking a look at the base deets, flip them around the correct way. So 2680 is the number. So the running boards are glued on. They are separate uh, attachments to it. Uh, trailer hitch, a little bit crooked, but not horrific. Not horrific. Uh, the good thing about the Rams is they do have lensed taillights, which are pretty nice. Again, no plate details. That's kind of what green light's doing nowadays. No plate details. So other than that, that looks pretty good. Now the Ram sits a lot higher, so the trailer is not as big of an issue. This one, I was able to get the Rams in there without breaking one of them. Um, so that was a that was a feat that I'll take as a win. Um, I think that this trailer is just is is trash though. The design of the trailer is trash. This one looks good. Mopar Deco. This one has chrome wheels versus the bust knuckle that had white wheels. Uh, this one has color matched tire rack on it, which makes it look a lot better. Um, not so kind of out there. Uh, it looks a lot less plasticky, I guess is how you can put it. Um, as far as the uh, 
uh, look of it, having like an actual Mopar on there with the ramps up. So there you go. It's kind of the look. Um, it's pretty much touching on the hood, uh, but it barely fits that charger in there. I mean, barely. And that charger is not a big casting. That's very, very small compared to almost every other green light casting. I'm not really sure what they expect you to put on here. Uh, you might be able to do like a Kudo or a Challenger, uh, but you're definitely not going to be able to put a Charger or a Roadrunner. Definitely won't be able to put the uh, Belvedere on there. You can't put the uh, Fury on there. Uh, none of those are going to fit. You might be able to get the Diplomat on there potentially, um, you know, as far as Mopars go. But realistically, this trailer is probably better sized for like their uh, Tokyo Torque stuff. The Skyline, the Datsuns, the 240s. You know, those things are going to fit on this trailer great. But uh, we don't have a, you know, Nissan or Datsun version of those yet. So we'll see how... how We'll have to see how those come out and uh, see if they're going to do those. But, yeah, so you can't even get it out of there. It sits right in there. So there you go. That is Hitched uh, Hitch and Toe Series 25. Um, probably one of the worst releases because of this trailer. This trailer is just terrible. It's absolutely terrible. I'm very disappointed. You guys know I, I really don't do this kind of stuff on the channel. I really don't rag on things like that, but this trailer is absolutely just terrible. The quality is terrible. The design is terrible. The execution is terrible. Um, I'm, I'm really disappointed. I was really looking forward to a new trailer, but unfortunately, that's what we got. So anyways, there you go. That is Hits and Toe 25. Let me know your thoughts on that. Um, definitely, definitely not uh, happy with those here at Level M, but definitely interested to hear what you have to say about that and uh, drop a comment. We'll check it out. And uh, we'll definitely reply to it. So until then, appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Level Impact Cast. Peace.